Hey everyone, it's Arlene. I'm here today with a few projects for Discount Paper Crafts and I will put the link to Kathy's store down below. She carries the Prima Cartographer Collection, uh, everything from the coordinating flowers, the brads, the buttons, um, the wood pieces, the tags, like everything you guys. And um, some of the middle pieces that I created in this mini tray, and I'll show you in a second, um, are also from her store. So this is the Cartographer Paper Collection. This is what I used on all three of my projects today. It's a gorgeous collection, you guys, and I'm sure you've seen um, many of us YouTubers out there uh, creating with this paper collection. It's just gorgeous. Love it. Okay, and I am working with the A4 paper pad. There is a total of 48 sheets in here, three per three per design and the size of the sheets are 8.27 inches by 11.69 inches okay um, the projects that I created today uh, are a altered mini tray uh, I, want, I don't want to call it a printer's tray because this is one of those trays that a scrappy friend had given to me from a dollar store which is really cool and then I created a a card and it's a really interesting one it's a pocket card when you open it up though there's space for or you to put a full-size photo and I altered one of these glass jars and it used to look like this I got it at the dollar section at um, Target just a little glass jar I haven't stuck anything in it what I was planning on doing is putting some um, M&Ms or some candy in here but it's a really cute um, way to a gift a little something for your loved one and it has the really cute papers uh, by cartographer uh, or by Prima sorry the cartographer collection by Prima so let me start off by showing you the altered jar since we went ahead and started looking at that so this is what it looked like before um, again and you can pick this up at Target at the dollar section but I'm sure you could probably find it elsewhere it's by um, let's see, Project Ideas, Paper and Dots dot com is the um, the company. Okay, but yeah, they were a dollar at the dollar section at Target. So what I did is I just took some of the cartographer paper and then I layered it and I used uh, Walnut Stain Distress Ink on all of the papers. It looks perfectly. It gives it that vintage um, sort of look. I have a Graphic 45 ornate keyhole peeking out from the side here. And then one of the flowers from... A package of cartographer flowers from Kathy's store and all of the products will be up on the discount paper crafts website so you want to go ahead and check that out okay um, I have one of the paper clips from cartographer here and the base of this is the tags and um, this is really I love this uh, coordinating element you can just do so many things with the tags and they have this really cool um, <clears throat> this really cool string on it really heavy duty like shipping tag type string but it's a lot um, sturdier and then peeking from behind I have the little hot air balloon it's a wood piece a wood veneer plate a wood embellishment sorry coordinates with cartographer and then over here is a brad I just took the brad piece out and put a pop-up right behind it. it says jetador and a graphic 45 key and here's one of the tickets too from the tag um, collection and then up on top I added one of the sprockets from the cartographer wood embellishments and then I added a button from cartographer collection as well super fun you guys and you can put different things in there um, candy uh, you could use this as storage for buttons or embellishments in your craft room so something really fun to do and I love altering and this glass you know the glass jar was only a dollar so I picked up three of them and altered this one so far and I'm probably gonna go ahead and alter the rest of them the same way um, so now the card I want to share with you it's a pocket card and this pocket is a AccuCut die so on the cover of the pocket I have a doily from Owl and Thistle on Etsy and then I have one of the ATC let me show you what that is it's the 3x4 ATC that coordinates with cartographer so it looks like this it's a paper pad and it comes with the coordinating um, elements to complement your project but that is the ATC and I just edged it with walnut stain and then right here is one of the actually these two are part of the chipboard pieces and it's a 12 by 12 page of chipboard cutouts and they have um, adhesive on the back so you just peel off the uh, the back and you can adhere it directly to your project so that's what these two are these are both from that um, 12 by 12 sheet 
Then here are some photographer flowers, a wood uh, embellishment here, again, the, from the photographer set, one of the tickets from the tag set, and another graphic 45 key uh, back there, ornate vintage key. Okay, love this. Okay, so then the card was actually created using, now let me pull that out, the six by six ATC pad. These are so fun to work with. And they're, um, sorry, but not six by six, six by four. Um, so obviously the size of a photo. So if you wanna put a full size photo in here, you just have to trim it down just a little bit and it would fit perfectly. So these two layers right here are from the three by four ATC that I just showed you. And uh, this is a tag from the photographer tag set. And then here's one of the um, wood embellishments. And I just, um, appended it to the tag string over here and I altered it with a little bit of walnut stain. I edged it with the walnut stain distress ink. So it's just like a little charm hanging on there. Um, and then there's some more tickets here and the paper clips holding the tickets on there. So then you open it up and then you can insert a photo here or insert a photo here and then write a, um, a sentiment or a note over here. And you can actually use the back here to add another uh, photo if you wanted to. So the basically the way that I did this is I just took a um, I think it was like one point um, one point one and three quarter strip and then I was like one and a half inch strip and then I um, scored it right down the middle at three and a quarter and I layered this six by four onto this six by four with the the binding in there. So that's what's created in the binding on the six by four cards. So really simple to do. Okay, so that is my photographer card. It just goes in just like that. Super cute, I love it. Okay, and then next up is the altered tray that I created. And as I mentioned earlier, this is um, one of those, it's just a really plain wood um, tray that you could pick up at your local dollar store and uh, one of my scrappy friends um, had given me I think like three of them she had shipped me three of them because they didn't have these these trays at my um, at my local store at the time this was like gosh like probably a couple years ago so I've had this and I wanted to um, go ahead and alter it I did alter one with graphic 45 at one point so anyways I do have a tutorial to show you how to create this altered tray, but it will be up on Snap Guide. Okay, so I just wanted to share it, share this with you here on YouTube. Okay, so I painted the entire wood, raw wood um, tray with gesso. And then after the layer of gesso, I painted it with black acrylic paint. And after the black acrylic paint, I sprayed it with Lindy Stamp Gang dark chocolate truffle. So you'll see the nice shimmer uh, that the gold shimmer in the dark chocolate truffle gives the tray. It's awesome, I love it. And um, around the entire edge of the box, I used Graphic 45's new washi tape. I love this stuff, you guys, it's so fun to work with. Okay, and then up here I have a Tim Holtz knob. And I just adhered that down with E6000 so that'll stay pretty good. Now, I layered design paper, the cartographer design paper throughout, and where I didn't layer paper, I actually have photos. Now, these photos were taken in um, the Philippines right and in front of the Mayon volcano, and we had went ATVing, and after ATVing, we hiked up to the base of the volcano and took pictures. It was so fun. So, really great memories, and... Um, for us and so I wanted to scrap it and this was my way of um, kind of capturing those memories is putting it in a little printer's tray. So there's a lot of different elements that I'm using here. I have these little thimbles from, I think these are from Spare Parts from Hobby Lobby and then I have a Graphic 45 uh, metal clothes pin back there and then some Prima um, findings buttons that says memories and then on top of the thimble over here and I'm sorry for the lighting you guys because it's nighttime here but there's a Brad from the photographer collection right on top of the thimble. I just added some E6000 to make sure that wasn't going anywhere. And this is us on the ATV and you can see the volcano in the background. Really fun. And then over here I took the, uh, one of the uh, 6x4 ATCs that had the 
compass and everything in the sprockets and I used a one inch circle punch to punch those out and I popped them up with some adhesive uh, pop dots and it's really cool. It's just a really fun element to and a great way to to use the elements of the paper. And then I added a little Memento Muddle Metal Butterfly right there. I have a few of those throughout the, the tray. And then I have one of these spare parts bottles and I just added some beads inside there. Just something fun. And then over here you'll see that I added one of the tags and um, one of these brads here from Kathy's store and it has a little pole so I hung some little Prima sprockets and I found this itty bitty key in my stash. I don't even know where I got that but it was so cute. I loved it. So I decided to put it on there. And then here's one of the um, the drawer pulls from Kathy's store also. Metal drawer pull. And then these butterflies I got from Kathy's store as well. These are the Prima um, wood butterflies. You can see it. It's so the lighting is just so not right. Okay so there you can kind of see it back there. And here's another uh, Brad from the photographer collection, a thimble, and then another, uh, actually it's not a brad on top here. I used a Prima, little Prima sprocket from one of their metal, metal finding sets. Um, and then here I have a Graphic 45 ornate key. Um, I believe Kathy still carries these in her store. I love these things. I am, I love Graphic 45 staples. They're so awesome. Then over here is photographer button, a flower, and another brad that I popped on there. And these are Seven Gypsies uh, metal corners and Kathy carries these in, their, in her store. These are awesome. So you'll see I have them in all four corners of my tray. This is a pull that I picked up at Etsy a long time ago. Love it, so I just kind of added it there. I thought it would be fun. And more photos. And then you'll see I have a Prima, um, a Prima light bulb, which we're gonna put, there you go, a Prima light bulb back there. And um, I have a metal butterfly by Momenta again, and one of the Prima metal um, numerical numbers down there. And everything is adhered down with either glossy accents or E6000. With the flowers, I used hot glue. Um, this is really fun layering. I had so much fun layering this. So I have a Prima metal flower back there. Um, I got it at Kathy's store. I'm not sure if she still carries it, but I did get that from her store. And then in the center of that flower back there, you'll see I put a brad head from the Cartographer set of brads. And then on top of that, I added the Graphic 45 ornate metal keyhole. And to cover the hole, I added one of the Momenta butterflies on top. And then Journey, um, this is from one of the Momenta metal um, sets that I had purchased at Michael's. And then here are some flowers, Cartographer flowers from Kathy's store. And then on the top, okay, I think I told you what was on the top already. Um, over here, one of the tickets, Momenta Butterfly. And then I have one of these, um, oh, let's see the best way to do it. Here we go. One of these lion head pulls from um, Sky Blue Pink. Bought that a long time ago. And then I have another Prima Finding here. And then another one of the numericals right there. So that is my mini altered tray. It was really fun to create this, you guys. And it's a really a great keepsake um, to kind of, in, you know, how do you say that off the page keepsake instead of doing a scrapbook page, you can do one of these trays and easily hang this on your wall. And it's really just really fun to look at it. Okay, so that is my altered, I have my little stand here, my altered tray using cartographer. Here is the altered bottle. And then the card that I shared with you. So check out Discount Paper Crafts, you guys. It's discountpapercrafts.etsy.com. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.